new features which came in 22D. Okay, so very first feature uh, is regarding documents of record. So Recal has given functionality to archive and purge document of records. Now there are scenarios where organization want to, you know, archive some documents which are private. It's basically related to GDPR compliance is an example for UK that you can't keep uh, personal documents without consent of employee. And there might be some documents, for example, salary increment letter. You don't want to keep salary increment letter more than five years or four years. And for example, visa application, right? Once visa is approved, it has expired. You don't want to keep that. So you can uh, configure these archive and purge documents of record setting. So what happens? Once you uh, once it is archived, there's a table called so basically normal documents of record. They will uh, go in the database table called HR documents of record. But once you archive it, they will go to HR documents of record archive table. All right. Yeah. And uh, so when we configure these settings for a particular document type that this is the archive. Uh, there are different fields for archival. We'll uh, discuss this. But once you configure those fields and then there's an ESS program called archive documents record, right? Once you run it, then basis the dates given and the parameter given in document type, those will be archived, right? These are the fields which are given in a document type. What is the basis? Yeah. So you want to archive basis creation date or from date to date or issued on. For example, creation date is when you create it, from date is from when it is valid. Right. So, for example, I'm creating document type today. Uh, for example, of a letter, but it is valid for uh, for from one month after today's date, or when it is issued. Right. For example, a document type can be issued five days be past date, but uh, we are creating today. So, this is which criteria you want to set those, and after how many days they should get archived. Okay. Uh, five days, 10 days, three, 90 days, for example, after three months. So here you can mention archive days. Then finally, by when they should get purged. So you can give value from zero to 18,000, right? So these are the fields. And uh, if we see this in the instance, let me show you how disappear. So if I go to end document type, if we go to document type, for example, if I create any document, right? New document, maybe. Now here, they, this is a new settings given, archive settings. So first you have to decide basis, creation date, from date, for example, if I take creation date, and after how many days you want to archive, you can give purge. This is mandatory, but purge, if you want to purge or not, that is uh, optional, okay? So this is the feature which Oracle has given and uh, yeah. And the process which will have to run is archive documents of record. So if you only give this. If you only enable this, you know, archive settings and if you don't run that. Those will not be archived. So if I now go, go to schedule processes just to show you. So here if you see. When I run this, I get the option of document type for which document type. You want to run this right and then you give the document type name and then you submit this so it will archive yeah so steps they have given that you have to create the icon this we have seen uh, create the document type this we have seen and then uh, you have to define the archive criteria basically regarding roles and privilege you should have a role to run this schedule process which is this so we'll uh, go to next feature and uh, which is improved document type description field. So if I again go to document type, so this is regarding this description. So now they have given rich text format. For example, you can bold it, italic, underline, basically word features which are common, right? You can color them and text color you can give, alignment you can give, bullet points you can give, right? Link you can add. So this is test document description so earlier it was plain text now one help 
अपलोड क्लियर पिक्चर फोटो नोट अलाउड सो आई कैन डू दिस राइट और आई कैन डू दिस सो आई कैन डू दिस राइट सो अर्ल दिस वॉज नॉट देयर नाउ यू कैन एड डिस्क्रिप्शन मोर इन मोर प्रोफेशनल वे या सो दिस इज अनदर फीचर रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप्स सो बेसिकली यू कैन कंपोज एंड फॉर्मेट मीनिंगफुल इंस्ट्रक्शन सो इट इज लिमिट इज फोर हंड्रेड करेक्टर्स राइट दिस इज हाउ दिस विल अपियर वंस इट इज क्रिएटेड एंड वेन अ पर्सन क्रिएट डे डॉक्यूमेंट रिकॉर्ड सो दिस वी हैव सीन just now right so another feature related to mass download of documents of record is that a consolidated zip file will be downloaded all right and earlier there were multiple files now it will be a single file even if the size is greater than 2 gb right and this will generate data only log file will generate only data if there are errors if there are no errors nothing will appear here okay so you don't need to do anything all right uh okay let us try one download of documents record and if i add a new download i'll select document type for example background check okay category can be employment okay and if i submit this today's fourth of Third of April. So as it was dis <coughs> discussed, this is the output file. This is the log file. So if you see different uh, download document uh, documents have been downloaded, right? For all, <laughs> and it is a single file, and these two are SDL files. These are so nothing is here because there is no errors. So this we have discussed. so this is regarding workflow structure code added to employment info page so in info page we don't see employment info page we don't see details like code for example job we only see job name we don't see job code for grade we don't see grade code all right for department so these fields have been added position name we were seeing now we will also see position code so these are so these fields are now available in employment info page only thing is we have to enable these through sandbox okay i'll show you the demo also so i'll go to design studio and before i go to design studio i need to enable sandbox sorry so we will first enable sandbox let this complete this is quite slow okay let me close this and we'll work on this this is already sandbox design studio auto created but this is auto created I'll go to this, and if I go to this, in action I have to select employment. We can amend the existing rule, or we can add add rule. I will add rule. So work structure code one. Just a sample folder code one. Roles we can add for which role it should appear: legal employer, country, business unit. If you don't select, it becomes applicable for all. Click and enter name and description. Page attribute section. If I go to assignment, so if you see bargaining unit, bargaining unit code. If I enable it, and business unit visible. Job code you can enable. Okay. Save and close. If I go to employment info, press go to any person record. Now if you see here. job code is visible which was not available bargaining unit there is no bargaining unit but it is visible business title so basically information which was available in uh, database is now available in ui also through sandbox from design studio okay this is another feature yeah now next feature is configure default effect is started for work structure object